I'm gonna get straight into the scripture like I got a new Bible but um okay so today we're gonna read first Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 to 2 now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman, nevertheless to avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Okay? Y'all. I don't know who this message is for. I don't know who this message is for. But your kingdom spouse has a sexually transmitted disease. They are sick. They are burning. They are really going through it. And you don't know anything about this. They have not told you about this. They are too embarrassed to tell you about this. Um, and yeah, they've had it for some time. They don't even want to go to the doctor because it's literally that embarrassing. And I'm just saying all of this to say, I'm not here to embarrass anybody. I'm just saying all of this to say, this is exactly why God says, don't have sex until you're married because people are having sex unprotected, even though you're not supposed to really wear a condom when you are married, but people are having unprotected sex with whoever they are contaminating themselves with these diseases and they're bringing it back to people that are abstinent they're bringing it back to people that are celibate they're bringing it back to people who have sex once a year you know like people that don't you know really have sex they're bringing it back to you guys and next thing you know you have an std like and you think oh this is only for people that have sex a lot. This is pe for people who have sex more casually. No, no, no. This is for people who have sex, period. If you are not married and you're having sex, you're going to get an STD. Or you are making it more possible that you get an STD. I'm not saying people that are married can't get STDs. I'm just saying this is why God has certain things in place. And I'm just... You know making this video to let you guys know <sighs> that if you happen to get an std later after watching this video i told you so all right like this stuff is very common a lot of people are getting infected it's funny because i have my scrubs on but i'm not even in the medical field but guys really we really have to we have to be very careful and yeah, people are lying. People are too ashamed to let you know what they're going through. This is some real stuff right now, okay guys? So whoever this message is for, I pray that you take heed. Um, a lot of y'all are gonna have to ask your kingdom spouse for some test results because it's really that serious. Like. Be careful, you guys, and pray for your kingdom spouse. Don't try to put them down. Don't, like, you know, condemn them because they're humans. They once were prodigals. Prodigals do crazy, wild things. So you don't know where they could have got that, you know, STD from. So be patient, be kind, and I would definitely advise everyone to take a fast because that's when God talks to you the most and you really get to see his view on a lot of situations that are going on in your life all right so that's all i have to say i will see you guys on my next prophetic word i have a lot to talk about and i love you guys dearly bye